we must keep in mind that the victory of resurrection and ascension will be only at the end of a cruel suffering and death. What happens in the life of our Redeemer continues to happen in the life of the Church. It may not be said, but it is the reality announced by the Spirit. On this day of the Holy Innocence, we remember not only the guilt paid from Bethlehem, but all those who have killed before or after their birth and of the history. There are hecatombs. We keep in mind the minors are used by others, even by priests and bishops and prophets. Herod is not the only one who abused his power. There are many children around the world who make their own Herod, who under the pretext of veneration approach them in bad intention, abuse their body and destroy their soul. We ask the Holy Innocents to intercede for their suffering companions nowadays. Dear brothers and sisters, in this Mass was announced at the beginning, and we also give thanks to God for the gift of life to Father Troy, who today completes 80 years of age. May the Holy Innocents intercede for him, who since 2009 serves the Vicariate as a tireless priest, and since 2014 as Vicar General of the Bishop. Thank you, Father Troy. Today, during the general audience in Rome, Pope Francis made a so special request. And I quote, the Pope said, I would like to ask you all for a special prayer for Pope Emeritus Benedict, who is supporting the church in science. Remember him, he is very ill, asking the Lord to console him and to sustain him in his witness of love for the church until the end. That is what we will do also in this holy mass to pray for Pope Emeritus. <laughs> 